I don't understand why all these shit posts have this weird coloring that makes me want to vomit. I think I'm gonna be sick. Why? There's so many colors. You went with that. You looked at that and said, that's the one, fam. That's the one. The following program is rated TV M-A-N-O-C. It contains a big pair of nuts directly on your chin. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Papa Swolio, back with some more nuts on yo chin. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're ready for some salty and vinegary nuts. They are seasoned and ready for you. If you're brand new here, make sure you check all the links down below. Uh, if you want more of Papa Swolio and the Swole Fam, check out the Daily Swole Podcast live every single day on that channel and also Apple Podcasts, Spotify, everywhere you like to bang your ear holes. And also, if you're ready to join the Swole Fam today and say, fuck your resolutions, I'm not waiting for January. I'm ready to start right now. I don't care if you're a beginner. I don't care if you're advanced. I've been training for 20 years. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, or any of those other letters. You are welcome inside the Swole Fam, and you can crush with us today. Check out the links down below for SwarmersX.com. Yeah. Links down below. All right, today's nut job is going to be the body image therapist. Now, you know that's a good one. You know that's a good start, the body image therapist, uh, especially when it's coming from YouTube. This person, Ashley Bennett. I don't understand why all these shit posts have this weird coloring that makes me want to vomit. We talk about this on the Daily Swole podcast all the time. That's like a coral salmon color. Like, what color is this? Can someone drop in the comments? Can one of you actually tell me what color this fucking background is? Why? There's so many colors. There's so many things to choose from. You're going to choose. You went with that. You looked at that and said, that's the one, fam. That's the one. All right. The post reads, if eating comforting food seems like the only thing you have to look forward to at the moment, now is not the time to judge or belittle yourself for it. It is not inherently weak to comfort eat. <sighs> okay. There's a lot of there's a lot of victim to unpack here. It goes deep. The victim is strong with this one. If you if the only thing that you're finding enjoyment in life is eating food, talk number 1, talk about a first world fucking problem. Uh, you definitely have major issues definitely have major issues. You know, I know people with actual eating disorders that don't look at food as the only comforting thing in their life. Okay. We have a lot of people in the Swole Fam that have ever overcome binge eating disorder and like actual eating disorders. This is not just, oh, I have nothing else to do. I'm stuck inside because of a quarantine. I'm just going to bury myself in Twinkies. Okay. If you're looking at food as the only thing valuable in your life, this is one of the things that's a problem with society today. There's so many amazing things that you can do with your life. So many passions, so much, so much greatness that you can achieve for yourself. If you're looking to food as your only form of entertainment, that's a fundamental problem with our society. Uh, but the problem here is the moral aspect here. Now is not the time to judge or belittle yourself. This is a post that is geared to justify you staying obese and trashing your body and eating garbage food because you're a valuable person. You deserve it because you're stressed. I say fuck that shit. It is not inherently weak to comfort eat. Weak. It is not inherently weak. Why is this a debate between weak and strong? This is not about willpower. This is about habit building. This is about logic and common sense. This is about actually creating a proper lifestyle and an environment in an artificial world. You need to create your environment. You need to hone your environment. That's pillar number one of the seven pillars of Swolnormous. Links down below if you don't know what I'm talking about. Community, environment, the people, the things. You can't be keeping junk food in your house if you're constantly eating this crap. It is addictive. If anyone tells you that junk food's not addictive, they're either stupid or they're lying to you. These foods have been designed to be addictive, so you can't stop eating them. It's not inherently weak. It's not inherently strong to avoid it. It's just a non-issue. It's like talking about motivation. Motivation is bullshit. It's a lying, untrustworthy whore. It's all about discipline and building those habits. Who the fuck cares if you feel like it? 
Who cares if you feel like eating X, let's, let's say food A, B, or C. It doesn't matter if you feel like eating junk food. It's absolute trash and garbage. Now, this video, you might say in the comments below, well, Papa Swole, you always deserve a cheat meal. I don't believe in cheat meals. I don't think you should be cheating ever. I think if you're eating properly, you don't even have to think about cheating. It's just part of your life. Like the foods that I eat, they're amazing. They're fantastic. I have no desire to cheat whatsoever because I'm eating the foods that I have evolved to eat. I know objectively that these processed garbage foods pumped full of veggie oils, processed carbohydrates, they are trash. They should not be consumed by human beings. Do human beings eat them? Yeah. I'm the trash man. I start eating garbage. Are you going to eat them? Be like, fuck you, Papa. I'm not listening. Fine. I'm your Papa, but I ain't your daddy. You're the one that's going to have to live with the consequences. And unfortunately, millions and millions and millions and millions of people are living with the consequences every day. Why do you think there's been such a disaster the last couple years? It's because 75 plus percent of the population is overweight or obese. And I would say even 90 to 95 percent of the population is metabolically unhealthy, leaky gut, all sorts of issues, not sleeping enough. Even just getting five, six hours of sleep a night itself raises all cause mortality by like three or 400 percent. People are not taking care of their health fundamentally. It's not about being weak or strong. It's about going back to our natural evolution who we are as individuals, like as human beings. We're not living in a natural environment. You can argue what natural is, but we are not living in a situation that makes any kind of sense to be human. You have to be more human. People aren't even, come on, you know all the benefits of vitamin D, flu season, COVID season. You know, we're coming up on the winter, so it's gonna be a fucking hot mess. Everyone's going inside and everything's gonna spike as always, lockdowns and blah, blah, blah. People aren't even getting fucking sunlight. I made a video on TikTok, Papa Swolio on TikTok, check it out, uh, a couple months ago about sunlight. And everyone in the comments was like, well, you're gonna get skin cancer. What? Because you're just going outside? Sure, if you never get sun, you go out at high noon in Florida, you're gonna get absolutely roasted. But getting sunrise light, building up that melanin, building up your tolerance, getting vitamin D, that's just automatically gonna give you sun cancer. That's such fucking nonsense. People never go out in the sun, then they go out at two o'clock and they slather on all this chemical trash. We've just come so far from being human beings. And then we're looking at this garbage, body image therapist, it's gonna make you feel better. It's okay, you deserve to eat that crap. Wonderful therapy, fantastic. Post that, share, tag it. Put your arm around people. That's what we need, more justifications to eat garbage food. You're still a good person. Eat that garbage, eat that cake. You're still a good person. Don't you wanna be a healthy person? Don't you wanna set good habits? Why are we making excuses at every fucking turn? I'm tired of this pussification, aren't you? Aren't you tired of this bullshit? Aren't you tired of everyone trying to justify you being average? That's all you see everywhere. It's okay, you're fine the way you are, you're perfect just the way you are. Just change your hashtag, big is beautiful. Fuck that absolute nonsense. What are your thoughts? Drop in the comments down below. That's why we call it the salty sack because it's salty, it's vinegary, it's sweaty, and it's sticky too. You feel that? That's why I got this beard, it's a sack protector. Try it sometime. Ladies, grow a beard, you won't regret it. Gentlemen, that goes without saying. So drop your thoughts down below. Remember, if you want to check out old Papa Swolio and the Swole Fam every day, join us on the Daily Swole podcast. Links down below. Check the related channels for more. And also, free downloads, Seven Pillars of Swolnormous, and of course, SwolnormousX.com. We got full programs, hundreds of yoga classes, meditation sessions, the elimination diet, thousands of recipes, seven minute workouts with dumbbell, kettlebell, mace bell, everything you need to crush your fitness no matter where you are in the world, 24 seven, 365, phone, tablet, TV. This is one of the things that has really changed a lot of people's lives, especially in the Swole Fam, from the lockdowns in 2020, everything in 2021 and what we're coming up on this coming season, it's coming back again. But doesn't matter where you are, whether you're in Australia, in Europe, in South America, in the United States, doesn't matter where you are, you can be a part of the Swole Fam and you can have all your fitness, nutrition, everything in one place. Seriously, surround yourself with no nonsense, no bullshit fitness. That's what we're all about here at Swole Normous and inside the Swole Fam. So join us today. And aside from that, I will see you real soon for some more nuts on your chin. Peace the fuck out. Stay woke.
but y'all sleep. Real emo, but y'all sheep. Out in public, she a good girl, but at the crib, she a real freak. New throne for the new king. Same kid, now my streets go. Same gang, got the cheat code. I said, stay woke. We in real emo. I said, stay woke. Real emo. Stay woke. Real emo. I said, stay woke. Real emo. Stay woke. Real emo. I said, stay woke. Real emo. Stay woke. Real emo. I said, stay woke. Real emo. Stay woke. Hey, y'all some jokers, y'all a bunch of clowns You will not get a laugh out of me You can talk, but you can't denounce I live a different theology Why I transfer to a new account You just fucked over a prodigy Posted up with a running crown You are the king of the apology You about to see a new side of me, I hope you know We stand up and watch our enemy go Empire fall, my legacy grows I might just